Many people would know that JFK or that kid that was JFK was basically a rapist and a murderer and basically someone that was very horrible and very bad. Lots of people knew that. Lots of people had always known that, that the Kennedy kid or whatever, whoever he was, was basically this horrible, horrible person that would shoot people, kill people, and actually do, do lots of stuff, whatever he wanted. And even Jimmy Carter and lots of other people were also just as horrible. So, how to make him look good, whatever. Like I said, uh, they went to Germany and they got a facelift and changed his voice so he could be Richard Nixon, um, which was actually a Secret Service bodyguard that, was also, that they killed. So, and then by that way, that he could actually kind of get some credibility, or at least people would know for him for, for being the psychopath that he was. So, anyway, and, and basically, you know, he would then go and try and support himself or support one of his clones to try and get him into the White House or something like that. And basically, he was a psychopath, pretty much, and a horrible person. He was always had been a psychopath and a horrible person. Like I said, teachers, would, what he would do at school is that, is that when a teacher would turn his back on him, he would go, <laughs> You know, and pretend to be stupid and all that. And some girls thought it was kind of funny or whatever. But then again, it wasn't so funny when he was raping them, so, or whatever. Anyway, he was just a horrible person. Anyway, I saw him and knew him as a horrible person. Other people had saw him and knew him as a very horrible person that should never get anything. And basically, later on, he was raping and killing in no time. And pretty much Richard Nixon was this horrible, horrible person that would do the donkey as he raped people and stuff like that. People would always remember those buck teeth very well as, as basically the person that was raping them. Yeah, whatever. Basically, he laughed at everyone, laughed at everything, and basically, um, you know, all his friends knew he was a horrible person. Everyone knew he was a horrible person. Basically, Richard Nixon, John McCain, anyway, everyone would, would know John McCain was just with him because he had some sort of money or something like that or something, something, or had, I don't know. It was just basically one big group of psychopaths, pretty much, back in the day. Back in 1920s, 1930s, and 1940s. And basically, they, they were just kid that had, kids that had access to the TV room, and they would basically just create fake news stories and all kinds of horrible stuff, and basically, you know, get people fired or get people, you know, shot from, basically, you know, I mean, people would know the JFK group or the Nixon group as basically the worst people in the whole universe. So how could they ever be in office or even get near the anything that would be running the government. Well, guns and lots of death. And that's pretty much how he did it. So, anyway, and I would, you know, and I was very much hunting him anyway. So, you know, and basically, um, basically was, was moving to get him put in jail for the rest of his life. Possibly he never hadn't existed at all. So, yeah, anyway, er everyone knew JFK and Richard Nixon were horrible people. Anyway, and everybody knew and saw these, all these horrible people running around, basically with guns. So, anyway, though, so no one would ever take him seriously in office, and they had basically scraped together enough money to get him enough plastic surgery, which later on he would go back and kill all the doctors or kill everyone else. And basically, he was basically this, basically this death that walked across the planet from one person to another person, basically, killing and raping as he went. And always had, ever since he was born, from the day he was born. To the day he died. You know. The worst person of humanity. Pretty much. And this would, you know, and this led to all kinds of other horrible things. Very horrible things. Like I said, I wasn't the only one after him. Lots of people were after JFK and Nixon and all these other people. Yeah, you know, I just, just happened to notice them. Anyway. Like I said, truckers would notice all kinds of things and people and even drug dealers and drug people would notice how these people were trying to control them or whatever. What would be known as the Kennedy curse or whatever, basically. And people, because because the public didn't know that the Kennedys were psychopaths and that Richard Nixon, JFK was a psychopath. So they called it the Kennedy curse as, as the Kennedys were killed, you know, because, um, but I mean, they were, they were just not, not bad in that country. In other countries, they're the worst people that had ever walked this earth. But anyway, so they called it the Kennedy curse or whatever. You know, because people would eventually find them and kill them because they had killed their family members or raped their women, their daughters and stuff like that and were involved in the sex trade and all kinds of horrible things. But also involved a bunch of black people and a bunch of other people. So, anyway, and they were just using the American government and the police departments to basically fund them and basically keep them safe while, while they tortured and raped people. So, that's pretty much all that was happening, really, the last 40 years or so, or 80 years. 
Anyway, and so, you know, like I said, it would lead to them trying to rape, you know, Princess Diane and her friend, and even and even had, had led to the, to the rape of the queens, or whatever. So, lots of horrible things would, would happen because of JFK and Richard Nixon and the, con and the United States Congress. And to Congress means actually to sex, to have sex with. So, so that's what they're, they're, they're sex people. The United States sex people. That's what they're basically telling the world, pretty much, by Congress. Congress mean, used to mean to, to, to have sex with. That's, or you're in Congress means you are currently having sex with. And that's what that meant back in the 1800s or whatever. So basically they're just telling the universe that they're the, that they are, you know, the, the us sex group. So anyway, and that's what that really meant. But then again, but then they changed it around and say, oh, it's all, we're all Congress. And then you're, you're in Congress when you're raping someone or having sex with. So anyway, that's what that used to mean. So anyway, whatever. So. So of course they were all bad. Anyway, basically just an open rapist group or sex group. Anyway, and just stealing American people's money. And that was all the validity they had was basically writing checks, stealing money, killing people, raping them, and all that. Basically in Congress. You know, whatever. That's what it meant. You can go back and look it up to see what Congress actually means. It means to have sex. In Congress means to have sex with. Or currently having sex. So, anyway, yeah, it's true. You can look it up in some ancient book or whatever. They would try. They, they would try and change that around. But yeah, so I guess nobody met, understood that. That's what that meant. <laughs>